Oh hello, you guys must be here for the weekly news. Well, it's just Toby here today, David's away enjoying himself in sunny Wales. In the news this week, Mark likes buckyballs a lot, Notch attempts to attack the art of alliteration, and there's a weird problem in the US state of Illinois. But first, the weekly chunk. It's a large, well, chunk of news this week as Lydia and the team get ready for PAX Prime next week and Lydia has produced a competition specifically for that. If you can design a piece of artwork about Minecraft, Scrolls, Cobalt or even one of the Mojang team themselves, it will be featured in a special PAX project. Not only are they looking for your artwork, but they're after your skills and maybe a chunk of your time as well. Anyone going to PAX Prime in Seattle is offered the chance to volunteer at the Minecraft booth. Details to the chunk and how to apply are below. I'm sure you're all dying to get tickets to Minecon already. I know I am, so it's good news I have for you. The Minecon 2012 website was open yesterday. Don't go panicking, the tickets aren't on sale until August 30th, but there's an early bird rate, so be sure to get ready for then. Moving on to Minecraft Xbox Edition, and the news that another set of Minecraft skins will be launching today. If you always wanted to dress up as a Left 4 Dead character, or someone from Gears of War, now here's your chance, but until then, here's the smashing news that our favourite indie game is currently ranking second in the live activity for this past week, and has been for a good few weeks. Who knows, with the next update, we might be first. Now, David evidently picked a bad week to go on holiday because this week's snapshot is packed with goodies. There's these cobblestone and mossy cobblestone walls, a welcome addition to the Fence family although they don't yet interact with their wooden cousins. Also, as promised last week, there's the implementation of flower pots, ready to be filled with saplings, flowers, fungi or ferns. There's not one, but two new crops, carrots and potatoes, and alongside them there's baked potatoes, poisoned potatoes and golden carrots. If you've been longing after a button that you can use from afar, long no more. The wooden button was added in this week's snapshot and is arrow sensitive. Adding to that, trapdoors have been tweaked so that they can now be placed on the top half of a block. No more unsightly holes in your floor. Another tweaking has been to maps, which are now created as empty maps. Once you right click them they'll become full maps and w now work on a grid basis to better combine more than one map. Another feature that was showcased in last week's chunk but implemented in this week's snapshot is the item frame. Maybe you fancy putting your favourite map on the wall or that record signed by Notch himself. Perhaps you want to show off your weapons or brag about your new diable leather armour. Well, the item frame is the place to do it. One last feature that a lot of people have been suggesting for a long time, corner stairs. Jeb has added corner stairs as a test and awaits your feedback before deciding whether or not to fully implement them. To see all the change log for all these items and more, click the link below. Not only has Minecraft Pocket Edition had news of an update, but Scrolls and Cobalt have both seen updates rolling out. Scrolls is still in alpha testing stages, but we've already seen great leaps from the game and this update is no different, with the addition of in-game chat, as well as in-game gold and the beginning of a store. As for Cobalt, it has been taken forward to version 109 with the changing of weapon range, bullet interaction and camera behaviour, and then pushed straight on to 110 as a bug found when buying weapons in shops was pointed out. That's dedicated behaviour right there, guys. If you're a fan of the super talented internet artist and webcomic designer Randall Munro of XKCD fame, then you might want him to explain all about Notch's new, exciting but confusing game, 0x10 to the C. You do? Well, go to this link and comment to lend your support. And while you're on the internet this weekend, go update your Seeds for Minecraft app. This dinky little app, which lets you choose various interesting seeds for worlds on Minecraft, has just been updated to version 2.0.0, so make sure you get your hands on that if you haven't already. Lastly, I'll leave you with these images that Dinnerbone tweeted of Bessie with a Y and Bessie with an IE looking chilled out in different dimensions. What could it mean? Let us know what you think below. And that's all from me this week. I hope I didn't do too badly without David. Set your ivory ticklers tapping over here for last week's news, and if you're into time travel then hit here for next week's news. Slide your deft digits downwards and depress the mouse and subscribe for your weekly Minecraft fix. And don't forget to watch us every Wednesday on Mind TV livestream and don't forget to be awesome.